Hey, this is Josh with uh, North Strand Community Church, and we are looking at that Behringer X32. We just got this board in this week. So going through a couple of different um, programming this week, what we're going to do on this one, this video, is just show you how to basically bring in your, um, your mains, um, your gain control, throw a little bit of EQs on there on your vocals, try to set some things up, um, and just try to make it look a little bit easy. So um, most of the time when you're dealing with vocalists, you can go ahead and put some gating and some compression on there if you um, you know, if you've got a real loud singer want to bring them back a little bit, it has all those options in there. Those are pretty easy to dial in. Same thing with the gating. Uh, gate means basically that you're not picking up all the background noise. It only engages once you set that threshold for when the volume hits. Then that microphone opens up and takes that signal in. Really good for like drums. For example, you have all those tom mics and stuff. You don't want it picking up all the ambient noise. You want it really to pick up when you hit that tom. So, But for the vocal on this one here, I'm just going to show you how to dial in the gain. We're going to look at the EQ side of doing some vocals, and it's a couple ways to cancel out some bad frequencies and kind of get your vocal mics to brighten up. So, anyhow, we've got this um, plugged in. I had done my channel before, and so I'm plugged in on Kathy's on uh, channel 18. I press the second encoder there to go ahead and get her all set up. Um, go ahead and put it on mute. And what you want to do is as you start talking, if you look towards the top, I'm talking near the microphone now, the gain is engaging. So you start to spin that up, and as you spin that up, you see it's starting to light up a little bit more and a little bit more. In fact, it shows up on your main page there, too, on the left-hand side. I encourage you, whenever you have new mics coming in, put it on mute first and just get that gain level set. So let's going to put in a, a decent little threshold right here. One, two, test, test. One, two, two, one, two. All right, that's, quick. that's pretty good right there. Um, I've got this right now just plugged into my Wharfdale coming out of uh, channel 16, uh, the right-hand side of the house feed. So let's go ahead and pull this fader down. Unclick the mute and start bringing this in. Test one, two, test one, two. A little hot, got a little ring to it, so let me back that down. In fact, I'll go ahead and take this main level and bring it back just a little bit. All right, let's bring this up a little bit. There we go, so we can hear what's going on. Um, with most of your vocals, you're going to want to go ahead and put some low cut and put a little bit of equalization on there to clean them up. You can hear with my voice now, it's kind of got a, a low mid kind of thing going on. There was a little zinging in with the higher frequencies, so we want to go ahead and find those frequencies and get rid of them. So first thing we can do is go ahead and go to your low cut right here and hit that. When you hit your low cut, you see on your EQ that actually cuts out the lower frequencies. Let's do this. Let's go right to the EQ view button right here and let's get that so we can see everything that's going on. Let's hit that low cut again. We hit that now. Now as we take that roller knob on the top left hand side, we can move that in and out. So with your low cut, you see as I bring it in, it takes away all the low end of my voice and as I bring it on back, it brings it back in. You basically want to get this where it, it, you don't hear the changes. It's right there. As soon as it starts to cut out the low frequencies, bring it back to the left a hair and then leave it alone. So let's bring it in. One, two, test, 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 test. One, two, one, two, test, one, two, test, 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 test. So one, two, one, two, right about there. It seems like anything further up is definitely cutting out some lower frequencies. So let's keep it right there. We're going to go ahead and look at the EQs all the way down. You have your, your high, your high mid, your low mid, and your low. And on each of these, you have your quotient, which go ahead and uh, sets the peak as a very sharp peak or a wide one, which we'll see. We get the frequency that moves these numbers. Let me get in here real close. It has one, two, three, and four. That's the low, low mid, the high mid, and the high, respectively. And the gain, so that sets that. So let's go ahead and let's start on the low since we're on the low side. We'll click in low. You see I go look at number one here. I'm moving the frequency button that moves that around. What we're going to do is uh, sweep those frequencies. So that what that means is we're going to go ahead and boost the gain up pretty tall. And we're going to go ahead and set this as a, as a nice peak, the PEQ. All right, so we've got a little bit of that top in there. Now, it sounds awful. Well, that's okay. That's what it's supposed to do. So let's take this, boost it up, and let's move this one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Test, one, two, one, two. Test, 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 test. Here, right there, and that sounds really bad. That's a good thing. You're finding a frequency that's really a nasty one. Test one, two. Let's make that a little tighter so we can make sure we can hear which one it is. Test, 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 test. Right there, right about at the 400. So let's go ahead and bring that down. And let's just pull that out just a little bit out of there. It wasn't killing us, but it was just enough that had a little bit of a bad frequency. So if this mic starts to get a little hotter and louder. Then, as I'm doing right now, see the higher end starting to ring out? 
that lower end is, is staying nice and clean. So let's keep it right there. Let's tighten that up a little bit. All right, let's move on to the low mid. Same thing. Take that thing, bring it up, start sweeping around. Test one, two, one, two, test, 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 one, two, two. Got some right there happening. So let's go ahead and bring that down a little bit too. So since these are kind of real close to one another, let's go ahead and actually just take this, spread it out a little bit, pull it out, fatten that up. There we go. Clean that those frequencies. Now we got on the high mid, I hear it ringing now. Let's see if we can find where that's at. Again, just bringing it up to the top. Woo, that's it right there, baby. So let's see if we can pinpoint it a little bit tighter. Again, I'm taking my Q knob right here, and it's making that go wider and tighter. So let's bring it up a little bit. Test, test, test. We're gonna find out what that one, that one was. So bear with me when I hit that ring. It's gonna start ringing hard. There it is, number four. Pretty tight right there, okay. Let's bring that back in right here to one, two. Let's widen that up a little bit because there were some lower frequencies that are hitting hard. Now, one thing you're gonna wanna do, and you're gonna see this button on the high, um, it's called a high shelf, okay? High cut basically takes out the higher frequencies like we did with the low cut. Low shelf brings up all the low end, and you usually want the low cut in there because it takes away a lot of the booms and the pops and, the, and just the, the lower frequencies that really don't add anything to your vocals but just are all the little frequencies that the mic kind of throws at you at your, as you're handling it, as you're moving it around. But one of the things that I learned is you go ahead and take that high and go to a high shelf. High shelf kind of gives you that pro kind of feel. Test one, two, test, test. You see how the vocals are kind of cleaning up? Again, this was what it was before, and all I'm doing is adjusting the gain on this. Test one, two, test, test one, two. We'll take our frequency, pull it back a little bit. Test one, two, test, test two, one, two. Testing two. So now we got like a very clean, you got your nice low end in there, you've got those mid low frequencies in this setup that was kind of zinging. I still have a little bit happening on my high mid, so I'm going to take that down a little bit more because I really don't want to get hurt with that one if we get a little bit louder. So I pull that back out just a little bit more on my high mids and then go ahead and bring in on your vocalist, hit that high shelf, bring that in, you know, you can go about 5, 6 dBs. Just kind of play around. It's again, it's going to be trial and error for you on your system as far as what um, your room is set up for the acoustics. I have this again just set up to a little power monitor, just as an example here. So, I apologize for the shaky video, but I'm trying to get you close in so you can see what's going on because most of the videos I've seen they've been so far out you can't really tell what's going on, and I don't have the time and to do all the cute little editing and stuff. So we're just going to do it this way. And this way you actually see what it looks like on the Behringer X32. So that's basically a good way to get your EQs dialed in. Um, now you've got good signal. Again, you can go to your um, gate. You can go to your um, compressor. You could set those up and pull those in as, as you desire. You pull those top end down. Test, test, one, two, 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 two. So you can set those up any which way you want to. Um, it's a lot of cool things, but especially on the EQ, just a good way to set up your EQ. Doing it by ear if you don't have a lot of tools um, to do it with your pink noise and stuff, it's a good way to kind of get in there. So that's your little uh, eight minute video on how to do some vocal EQs on the Behringer X32. And we'll go ahead and throw some more videos in um, a little later today. All right, guys, have fun with it. Talk to you later.